So More Options for Managing Pain is a resource that we've recently developed. And that resource came about because we know that the, the rate of uh, accidental overdose has been increasing in Australia over the last five to ten years. And obviously this is a big concern and we felt that it was important to give people good information around how opioids work and what are some of the risks for people to be aware of. So while it's possible to overdose on many different drug types, we decided for this resource we'd focus on opioids because right now it's this class of drug that contributes to most fatal overdoses in Australia. And we also know that this is happening for more middle-aged people, so between the ages of 30 and 59. So what we wanted to provide for the community was information so they felt more informed about how opioids work and what are some of the risks and what would an overdose look like and how could people respond. And the other important information we wanted to put in the resource was to share with people other options for managing pain so that they could complement their opioid medicine um, regime and think about allied health approaches to managing pain or complementary medicine approaches to managing pain. So the resource was designed to be easy to read and people can dip in and out depending on what information they want to focus on. And some of the key messages are about opioids and how do they work, what are the risks, what are side effects, what do people need to be aware of around side effects. Also we talk about how it's really important to be aware of safety around using medicines. So we want people to be able to talk to their doctor or their pharmacist if they were thinking about changing the dosage of the medicines that they're taking. So in the resource you can find information about allied health workers. So how do they work with people in helping them to manage pain better? For example, physiotherapists or psychologists. And then the final part of the resource is to talk about complementary therapies and what's their role. So what are the evidence base for some therapies that people can use to help manage pain? For example, yoga or acupuncture.